Hi everyone, this is Clint from Persuasive Evangelism, and today we're going to go over this book, the 1689 Baptist Confession of Faith. Uh, this is a great book to go over biblical theology, and it's a um, good book for a Bible study group. Um, that's the group I'm in right now. We're going over this book, and that's how I heard about it. So there's been a few confessions um, about theology before this, and this one builds on those. So uh, there was one called the First Baptist. First London Baptist Confession of Faith in 1644. Then there was the Westminster Confession of Faith, 1646. The Savoy Declaration, 1658. And then this was written from that. Um, and there was a group called Particular Baptist, which I had never heard of, um, which are called Reformed Baptists. And they adopted this in 1689, but it wasn't actually published till 1677. And then the majority of Baptists have adopted this um, as their theology. Now, and I want to read just a little part of the intro. It says, Those of us who love the 1689 Confession love it because we love the Scriptures. Far from denying or competing with the author authority of Scripture, a historical biblical confession such as the 1689 actually promotes and confirms the Scriptures as our final authority. If there, is in, if there is any doubt in our minds, the confession removes it in the very first line. The Holy Scripture is the only sufficient, certain, and infallible rule of all saving knowledge, faith, and obedience. But the confession affirms more than the authority of Scripture. It affirms that these authoritative Scriptures actually teach specific doctrines. The authoritative Scriptures will do us no good if we cannot say what they actually teach. The confession expresses the conviction that the scripture delivers us to a coherent, life-altering body of teaching the faith. So uh, there's 32 chapters covering 32 different topics. So uh, one thing you could do is like read one um, chapter a day. The chapters are short, um, usually, you know, one to two pages long. And then um, it's, uh, it's gonna mention some of what the topics are about. So there's in the first chapter is the Holy Scriptures, then there's God and the Holy Trinity, God's decree, creation, the fall of mankind and sin and its punishment, God's covenant, Christ the mediator, free will, effectual calling, justification, adoption, sanctification, saving faith, good works, preservation of the saints, the law of God, Christian liberty and liberty of conscience. So um, the chapters are short, but they're packed full of information. And each chapter has scriptures um, that to look up um, to confirm what the chapter says. Uh, so let me just get to one of these. So, so like here's one. Uh, th this chapter is God's decree, and it's two chapters or two pages long. And so what we do in our Bible study is we'll read the whole chapter. Each of us will take a chapter. Or a paragraph and read it and then we'll start with the first paragraph and under each first paragraph there's scripture so then all of us are assigned scripture and then we'll start reading through that paragraph and when we get to the uh like the end of the sentence where the scriptures are at we'll read the scripture and then discuss so you could spend like a whole bible study on one paragraph um but let me just read one of these um like this chapter says, God knows everything that could happen under any given conditions. However, his de decree of anything is not based on foreseeing it in the future or foreseeing that it would occur under such conditions. Um, so, and then there's chapters you look up or uh, scripture to look up. Uh, let me just read another one. All right. So this, so this one says, uh, the office of mediator between God and humanity is appropriated for Christ alone, who is the prophet, priest, and king of the church of God. The office may not be transferred from him to anyone else, either in whole or in part. Basically, Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. And we're all fallen and we need Christ as our savior and if you believe in his death and resurrection he died for our sins repent of your sins you're forgiven and he's the mediator between you and god and there's no no other way and you're forgiven and you're given um eternal life um so i totally recommend this um 
Uh, one other thing my pastor mentioned was um, scripture is the ultimate authority. There might be a line or, line or two in here that we might, maybe we don't 100% agree how it's phrased or worded. And then we always go back to scripture because scripture is the ultimate authority. Not this, but um, this is very great theology. But um, anyways, it's called the 1689 Baptist Confession of Faith. And this version is called, it says in modern English. I would recommend that one instead of the one like in the old English where it says thee, thou, hast. Um, so it's easier to understand. But yeah, this is a great um, theology book to go over and great. And we've had a lot of great discussions on this. So thanks, everyone. Goodbye. God bless.